Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for nickel nickel's introduction. Uh, it's my pleasure to give this presentation on behalf of our research group. My name is uh, Yu Lin Huang. Today, I will talk something about the research and application of Wuvin block system in Sohuang Heaven Hall Railway. My presentation is divided into five parts. <clears throat> the first uh, part is introduction. <clears throat> Uh, first of all, we need to know the basic knowledge about this research. Sohuang Railway is one of the important having Hua Railway in China. The allure transportation value exceeds, exceeds 300 million tons. It starts from Shenqilan Station in the west and ends at Huanghua Port in the east, connecting with the Shenzhou Railway. The Suhuang Railway is a component of the Shenhua Railway. The main line is nearly 598 kilometers long, and uh, it plays an important role in the regional railway network. And due to the great deed of the long steep stop, is up to negative 12% sounds. The line condition is very complex, so air braking is required, which results in the complexity of the train mode. Besides, at present, the departure in the wheel and the three aspect automatic blocking singular system is about 11 million. <clears throat> With the increase of the freight value, the transportation capacity of the existing three aspect blocking equipment has been unable to meet the needs. Moving block system based on wireless communication is one of the technical means to solve the correct safe transportation and efficiency. And it is groundbreaking in the world. In the three aspect singling, the blocks are spaced such that one block represents no less than the distance of the lower man's vice breaking for the West Kisk breaking train. This creates safe separate separation between trains, as say in figure above. If a train is detected on the given block, the signal for the preceding blocks will be ordered by restricted. Red, red means stop, yellow means approach, and grow means uh, proceed. For moving block system, it adopts computer technology, communication technology, network technology, and the control technology to realize the high integration and the corporate, uh, coordination of intelligent integrated train operation control and the short distance tracking between trains. Its screaming diagram is shown below. There is the safety protect distance between the end of the moving authority and the rear of the preceding train. The end point of the moving authority of the rear train is consistently changed with the movement with the movement of the preceding train. The use of the moving block system can improve the passing capacity and the use efficiency of the line. <clears throat> the second part is the architecture of the moving block system. The diagram on the left is the composition of the moving block system. Its composition main includes the onboard equipment for train operation control system. The ground radio blocker center equipment, CTC subsystem, TDLT wireless communication system, and the interlock 
sample system. The onboard equipment concluded the brick cave and let the locomotive braking system implement the comma brick or the imagination brick. The ground radio block center equipment concluded the move authority of the train used the information of the train position received from the onboard equipment and sent the moving authority to the onboard equipment. The CTC several system will send the order to process the route to the interlocking sample system. The above is the general process of the information transmission. The flow of the detail information trans transmission is described below. The onboard equipment exchange position, running state status of the train, moving authority and line condition with the ground radio block center equipment through the LTE wireless communication system. Radio block center exchange information such as route information, section occupy states, trickside equipment states, and uh, collecting trains information with the interlocking sample system in real time through the backbone network. CTC subsystem exchange position of the trains and the temporary speed restriction with the radio block center. CTC subsystem send the control command to the interlock subsystem. Next, I will introduce each part in details in terms of the function. Mm. The onboard equipment has three main functions. The first one is that it can conclude the safety break model in the conclusion. Delimiter function and the static factor need to be considered. Dynamic factor includes the moving authority and the temp temporary speed restriction. And the static faction include the slope, mm. include slope, um, form um, formation, weight, break, command delay, equipment response distance, time, etc. Mm. The second one is that it can integrate the information of the speed sensor, radar, respond and beta, then realize the detection of speed and position. Better accuracy can be obtained through information view technology. The message will then be sent to ground radio block <coughs> center equipment. The third one is the train integrity monitor when the main method is to compare the total air pressure of pipe with train rear and uh, with, uh, with train rear and air pressure. When the difference between the two over the center range, you see 100 kPa, 117 kPa integrated lost is confirmed. The assisted method is to conclude the med train length according to the placing of the head and the rear end and judge whether it is the same as the winning time length. And the beta model is installed at the rear end and the, the train tail equipment has the faction of the position. Through the compilation of the main method and the assisted method, in integrity of the train can be better checked and determined. <clears throat> the main function of the radio block center is to conclude the moving authority. First of all, 
the onboard equipment sent the train position information and the run state information to radio block center. And then in the local equipment center, route information, section occupy states and the trick side equipment states to radio block center. Finally, radio block center concludes the moving authority according to the information of the interlocking and onboard equipment and uh, send it to onboard equipment. In the conclusion, some factor need to be considered such as position and the state train ahead, states of the singling, states of section, switch position and the temporary speed restriction. In another way, some condition need to be checked, whether the train is run in CPTC mode, whether the singular is a prohibited state, whether the switch is in the locked position, whether there is a temporary speed limit, limited to C. The CTC subsystem has faction as flaws. The first faction is the giving the control commands. After comparison, judge the received invasion of the interlocking condition, train position from the, from the radio block center and onboard equipment. The CTC subsystem handles the route and send the control command to the train to realize the automatic control faction of the train. It also has the faction of the real-time display of the train run and the section condition, automatic adjustment, sending of the run play and the set up the temporary speed restriction. The process of the sending temporary speed restriction is shown here. Information starts from CTC, first arrive at uh, Tempor temporary speed restrictions, then arrive at a radio block center and finally arrive at the onboard equipment. A high privacy wireless, which is called as a TDLTE wireless communication system, linked with the redundant confection is established between radio block center and the onboard equipment in moving block system to ensure its quality of service in DIX. With the LTE ground network, LTE-based station, LTE onboard talent, and LTE onboard, the two-way communication between vehicle and the ground is achieved. The set path uh, is our testing and the results analysis. In order to verify the practical effect of applying the moving block system on the having hall railway, the actual line of the two sections of Xibai Po Gu Yue and the Xiaojiao station of the Suhuang having hall railway was selected as the test section. And the test section was divided into the two radio block <coughs> center control rule and the three interlocking control rules. Um, in order to test more faction, uh, we, we select, uh, uh, we select uh, uh, this design. Mm. The improvement of uh, system community is compared between fixed block and uh, moving block. The first uh, is about uh, the verification of the improvement of the departure capacity, which refers to the time difference between adjacent train passing through the same point on the departure line. Under the orange fixed block system, as shown in finger 1.1, will be C1 hence the departure when the as well as uh, S turn singular is cleared 
at the end of the train, after a successful routine hard handing, as shown in Figure 1.2, the VBC1 trains runs along the departure route. When the tail of the VBC1 clears the S turn single, as shown in Figure 1.3. The duration of the whole process is obtained according to the same procedure. The departure time of the VB2 is concluded. The maximum value of the both is the ability to start. Under the moving block system, due to the change of the trick mode, we, uh, we set up uh, we set up the video the V2 single. Um, uh, it, sh it shoots in the in the diagram v v two one v two one. Mm. The tracking distance is shortened by the protection cave of the prime region. At this time, v two one single is used as a clear point to conclude the departure interval, and the conclusion process is the same as the and the fixed book. We can get the same process from the finger. 2.1 and Fingo 2.2. In this Fingo, um, we can show we can show when the VBC one uh, passed the V2 uh, V2 single one, and then VBC two can uh, can start. Mm. The tester adopts the unit of ten thousand tons. HXD1 and the C18 martial mode. In addition to the tracking force, the train is also influenced by the line resistance. Based on resistance, slope additional resistance, re resistance curve, curve resistance and turn resistance. The line of Xiaojiao station is on an empty straight road. Therefore, only the basic resistance is considered here. In the process of concluding, the time of the routine handle, handling and switch locking occasion are determined by the actual site and can be ignored. The table in the low left corner shows the relevant parameters of the select train with a total load of the 11,000 tons and the train length of 1,342 meters. Based on above force analysis, the flowing permit setting, the sim simulation results is obtained. From a simulation and the sim uh, and analysis to the results, the runtime of Facebook system is 418 <coughs> seconds, and that of moving block system is 346 seconds, which is reduced by percent 28 compared to the fixed block system. Here, it's about the verification of the improvement of line tracking ability under the condition of the three aspect automatic block of fixed block system. When the single in front of the train is gray, the train can run at the speed of 18 kilometers per hour after passing the single, the train will start to slow down because the single is in front of its yellow. The length of each block section is 1,008 meters. Therefore, the minimum track interval for the train drive at 18 kilometers per hour is 3,600 meters, which is shown in the figure below. When the single in front of the train is, uh, is yellow. The train is required to drive at a speed of no more than the 16 kilometers per hour. After passing the signal, the train will start to disintegrate because the signal in front is red. Red. Therefore, the minimum track train fare of a train run at uh, 16 kilometers per hour is uh, 1,800 meters, which is shown in the finger below. Mm. Under the moving block system, consider the slope of the line mm. by 4,000. 
the check distance of the unit, 10,000 tons, having whole chain and use the 18 HIPA comma brick is about 1,389 meters, which can reduce the track intervals as sure in the flow figures. In addition, the adaptability uh, of the line is uh, to a different train has also been improved. Under the fixed book, it is necessary to design the block section according to the longest formulation and the west brake performance. So as to ensure the safe operation of the train for a shortened train, the brake distance doesn't need to be that long, which is a waste of line resource for long and train it is necessary to redivide the block section <clears throat> and redesign the system. And the moving block, the brake distance can be concluded dynamically according to the brake performance of a different train. So as to make the best use of the line resource for the longer train, is need to redivide the block section and redesign the system. In contrast, moving block is more flexible and improves the line ability to a greater extent. Compared with the simple increase the train weight, the moving block can improve the transportation capacity without change the line condition. Don't lead to resign the system, which, which is also an important reason why the moving block can be applied. In terms of the uh, maintainability, there is also a certain improvement. The information of the train is transmitted to the ground center in real time, such as the train position, working condition, pipe operation, operation states of each system and the function property or lot which is part of more information for maintenance. For maintenance. <laughs> the first part is what is to be done. I will introduce the working that is to be done. The first part is to optimize the driving curve. The point of the research is the cyclic braking on a long steep slope section. More specifically, it is about how to control air braking and uh, electric braking. The target of the research is to make train run safely, trying to be punctual and to minimize the force in trains. The constraints include many factors, such as the speed limit, position of the train ahead, brake correct mm. characteristic, Airfield time, the release speed, reduce, reduction of the train pipe pressure, and so on. There are also many challenges in the process of research. The most difficult one is the establishment of the air brake model, which affects the selection of brake points and the release path in cycle brake. The schematic diagram of the cycling brake is shown in the low right color of the figure. T in the figure refers to the time required for the train to complete one break and the leave. The speed of the train cannot exceed the speed limit of the line. And the speed during relief can't be low than the minimum speed value. The second part is the speed tracking control. Since chance having whole train our brake system is different from the ECP brake system. Its brake pipe is more complicated. Therefore, the research focuses on the small slope correction. The main point at the part, this part uh, is how to minimize the speed tracking error on small slope section. The target of this part is the same as the, of the pre previous part. It is to ensure the safe and the efficient operation of the train. 
try to be effective and minimize the force in trains to a large extent. The design can constrictly include many aspects, such as the speed limit, position of the train ahead, traction characteristic, brake characteristic, and so on. Based on the above effect, it can be found that the challenge is the train dynamic mode and the design of the controller. From the finger in the long right corner, it can be seen the ATP protection curve of the train is always above the driving curve and the braking curve. In other words, this trick method can be implemented safety and uh, effective. That's what. Uh, thank you for listening. Please feel free to ask questions. I will try best to give you a satisfactory answer. Okay. Thank you so much for this uh, very interesting presentation. So, yeah, it's really great to see uh, the development uh, being performed on a busy, dedicated uh, freight uh, railway corridor in China. So I would uh, now like to open uh, the floor uh, for your questions. We see some in, uh, in the chat. So maybe we can uh, start with uh, those over there. And uh, for the rest, feel free to write your questions in chat, and then uh, we will uh, address them uh, one by one uh, to the professor and Yi Hui, and uh, yeah, have, have them discussed. So one of the first uh, questions is uh, by Praveen Padni, Pandi. Uh, is uh, how does a moving block architect model takes care of the possibility of rolling back of the train which is ahead? So if I get it right, I believe it's on a train integrity. Okay, so actually, if uh, actually the entire train is uh, rolling back. So the train integrity is not broken, but the uh, entire train is rolling back. Uh, okay. So uh, in, in the moving block system, uh, basically we check the train integrity uh, using different, uh, using a combination of technologies. So if, uh, if we detect there is a train like split into several parts and then the whole system will go to a safe state, maybe all the train need to stop. Okay, so that, does it mean then uh, basically that uh, the trains have uh, continuous knowledge about the train ahead. Yes, uh, for example, <coughs> uh, for the fixed blocking, uh, for the fixed block system, basically uh, we don't know exactly where the train is. We only know that the train is in a certain block section. Um, with, uh, if we introduce the moving block um, system, so with the positioning system, we know where the exact position of the train. So if we check like the length of the train becomes longer than, than itself, it should be, then we know that uh, there's something wrong with the system. For example, we have a positioning in the, in the front of the train. And we also have another positioning system at the end of the train. So basically we know the details of the, the detailed information of the, each part of the train almost at least the, the first, the front, and the end. OK. Then uh, we have uh, another question, uh, again from Praveen, is uh, about a backup uh, channel of communication uh, for calculating safe distance. So is uh, there such a channel of communication uh, being introduced? 
没有后续，我们就走，走就用，走就用。我今天我们后续是两个几个。OK。嗯哼。So basically, for the moving block uh system, uh the wireless we use LTE. However, like the LTE system is not just one network; it's redundant. So we have two. Uh, for example, we have the red uh red network and the blue network. So if one is broken, the other one will switch in. And uh, at the same this time, is not the question. okay, it's not about the question. No. Uh, then could you? Yeah. Are you with us? Uh, so it's about calculating the safety you mean the how to calculate the safe distance between trains right correct correct uh -huh. correct so the the safe distance between trains is basically um we 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 know the detailed uh train characteristics uh of uh, of our train so and we know how we know the movement authority like how far can we go so we, so we, safe distance. Yes, how far can we go? So we need to. Is there any calculating formula for that? Yes, yes, we have. Um, so we, we need to know the detail, for example, the maximum, the maximum braking, uh, the maximum acceleration and deceleration. Basically, the maximum deceleration is really important. And here we need to consider different braking systems. We have the uh, electrical braking and we also have the air braking. So we need to combine those together to decide the maximum deceleration. And what is that uh, maximum? What is the maximum? Uh, okay, uh, because uh, uh, because our uh, because our, our train uh, uh, is used uh, air, uh, air braking, so we uh, we conclude the uh, safety uh, safe distance. We uh, we use the uh, air break when the uh, when the pipe pressure is reduced uh, eighteen kPa. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we have a question then uh, about uh, applicability of uh, GPS technology, and uh, have you thought of using it and? Uh, would be used as a foolproof system, or yeah, did you consider it uh, during uh, the research? Okay. okay. So um, in the test, uh, we use in the in the real test we use the Beidou system. So it's basically um, a Chinese uh, positioning system. However, which is uh, um, let's say, which is adaptable to the GPS. So we can change the modular if we want. Yeah. Mm. Okay, good, that, that's clear. Uh, have uh, one question from, from uh, Clark Cheng. Uh, it's about the applicability and the results uh, on a double track and a single track lines. So, if I got it right, uh, you test it on double track line? Yes. And uh, what it. would you, so do you have any ideas uh, or some experiments on what would be uh, results on uh, single track lines? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 我们的这个上行重载和就是呃就像你这个就是会用我们的一个方向是重车一个方向是空车就回去了这个空载。So okay. mm, for this for this line for this Shuhuang Highway Hall line, it's a, a two-track line. 
So it's um, mm. like all the part is double checked. So, and um, like mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and if, mm -hmm. and the system is, uh, the system can be used for a single track line, but this scenario is double track. Yeah, and have, have you done some experiments uh, or some simulation experiments on a single track line? Simulation or zone? Simulation? No, I think we, we don't because all the data, like uh, in our simulation, we also use the uh, practical data from Shohan line. So it's already double tracked. So we didn't uh, try it on a single track line, but it's a uh, very interesting question. So we may consider it afterwards. Okay, and uh, in the slides, you mentioned the uh, uh, improvements in uh, terms of seconds, but uh, could you say something about the results uh, implications on uh, capacity? So how many trains uh, were running uh, before moving block per day, for example, and mm -hmm. uh, how many more trains we can get with the moving block per day? Mm -hmm. So according to, uh, according to the capacity analysis from now, I think uh, with the introduction of a moving block system, and uh, like we, we can run um, maybe 25% train, um, percent trains more. Is so it possible because of electric uh, supply? Is that are these electric trains or uh, they are diesel power trains? Um, uh, sorry, could you uh, repeat uh, your question? Are these uh, are these electric uh, power trains or diesel power trains? Locomotives. <laughs> Electrical powered trains. And if you push the full line, is it possible that electric uh, supply will sustain that uh, number of trains at the same time along the line? Mm -hmm, that's a good question. Okay, the, the, the power supply uh, setting is enough if we, if we run 25% trains more. Yes. And how many of these 25% uh, more are? Per hour or per day or whatever it is? How many? <laughs> In terms of number of trains, let's say. <laughs> per day. It's per like day or per hour, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much, <laughs> yes. If uh, the separation is 11 minutes, how many per hours you have according to the fixed box system? You have pet, uh, you have five uh, trains per hour and 24 hours uh, times five is how many? Okay, so the headway between the trains is basically depends on the composition of the trains because we have trains with like um, 5,000 5, 5, tons mm. and we also have trains with 10,000 tons and 20,000 20, tons. Mm. So the headway is basically depends on um, like the weight of the train. Mm. So if the weight of the train is bigger, then the headway should be bigger. So then the the number of trains running per hour will depends on the schedule, like um, how many, like different type of trains. Yeah, and uh, uh, how many trains uh, do you have now on average per day? This is uh, the balance between demand you have and the capacity of the line you have. Um, How many is the capacity uh, utilized at the high level or low, uh, middle level? Uh, the, uh, the, is demand at the capacity level and uh, what are relationship? Number of trains scheduled and the capacity of the line. Um, and the number of the train, yes. 
Uh, if we talk about capacity, and it means the number of trains that can be operated per day, for example, or per hour. So currently in Shuhuang Heavy Hall uh, railway line, uh, the number of trains operated per day is around 100, um, over about 100 trains. And what is the capacity of the line according to your uh, moving block system? Four trains per hour. So the, the exact number of trains running per day is depend on the composition of the trains. So, yeah. Okay, we have a few more interesting questions. So you introduced the new concept and uh, is it uh, now in uh, production use already? Has it been installed and uh, running? Uh, or is it still in developing phase? So now the system, we, we already developed a, a, how to say, a, a prototype of, a, of the system and we tested it, uh, it in a part of the Shuohuang railway line. And they um, maybe in a like in the coming years they are gonna implement it it's in the whole line. We have equipment our um, uh, our uh, equipment uh, on um, in six real uh, locomotive. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, maybe. Uh, in in uh, in twenty uh, in twenty twenty two, mm, our uh, our system our moving system will be uh, will be used. Okay, so if I understood it correctly, so now with uh, in this year, so twenty twenty one, you run six locomotives and uh, you are already having it on uh, a part of the line? Uh, but uh, it's just for testing. They are, okay. yes. Okay, yeah, that, that's clear. And uh, another interesting question is uh, coming from uh, Nicholas Little. It's about the impact on, of interlockings along the line. So what is uh, the impact of uh, frequent interlockings on the line? Uh, what does the frequent, frequent mean? So I, I believe uh, uh, having more uh, switches or more interlocking areas uh, in, uh, in the corridor. So maybe due to multiple stations. Uh -huh. So then we know that during, uh, in a, for moving block, interlocking areas uh, represent uh, actually bottlenecks. Mm -hmm. So do you mean that um, in station areas, of course, we need interlocking system? Uh, but so what does the frequent frequent mean? Is it? So I guess the number of such, but maybe we can have uh, Nicolas uh, to explain uh, a bit on his question. Yeah, certainly. Um, the fact that it's a double track line, uh, quite often you get switches between one track and the other uh, to give you greater flexibility in case of um, some sort of issue. Um, does putting those more frequently 
to give you that flexibility actually slow down the ability to use moving block. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you. Now I understand it. 就是说就是在车本来就是离动地塞引入来以后它就可以提高系统的通过能力但是到了车站以后它就要停车就是并且在了车站以后其实是一个瓶颈嘛它肯定会影响的通过能力那这时候就是这个影响有多大是不是因为
嗯，不是不一定是减少它的长度，嗯，那还有什么？那是让说这个东西。Professor Huang is thinking about this question. <laughs> Let me think how to explain the uh, question. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, the signal V1 is not a real uh, signal at the track side. So it's basically, it's a virtual signal in, in the system. So it's more like it's a position well, if the previous train already cleared this, po this point, then the second train can depart. Because at the station, um, uh, the second train is waiting. So there is, a, how to say, it's more like a safe distance between the departing trains. Okay. So if, uh, if you want to know more, and you can contact Professor Huang afterwards, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, I have another question uh, about more uh, about uh, the general uh, dissemination about the work. Uh, are there any published uh, reports or scientific papers about uh, the results and developments? Mm -hmm. uh, they have published yeah. several papers. Uh, if you are interested, I think Professor Huang can send to you yeah. afterwards. Okay, so that may be indeed interesting for uh, uh, other others. So maybe these uh, figures are maybe explained in uh, greater details as well. So it could be interesting uh, to the other uh, participants as well. Uh, okay. Nicola, uh, yes. Hey, Andrea here. Just an idea. If you have, uh, for example, a website or a repository where where you keep all the papers, or you have a you know uh, a repository with with a link to all the papers, uh, you can give me that, and I can uh, post it in the in the RAS website, in the same place where I have where I have the slides. Uh -huh. So other people can go and refer to those papers uh, later on. Okay, thank you, Andrea. We will send you afterwards. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May I ask something? Yeah, sure. Uh, moving block system is not known, and he has been uh, for some time very well known principles how to operate at the breaking distance and so on and so on. In your design, how your design is similar or different than the existing designs we have in the US and uh, particularly in Europe and US. What is uh, added value of your desi design compared to those designs we, which have been also for passenger trains uh, developed in Europe and uh, partially in the US? Mm -hmm. I think the moving block system has already uh, applied in many uh, metro lines. And, uh, and now many countries are also going to apply it in main lines or conventional railway lines. And for this, um, for this research particularly, I think the biggest uh, uh, difficulty, difficulty is that um, the characteristics of the freight train is really uh, quite complex. It's like, um, because the train, like it's very long, for example, for the 10,000 train and ton, if a train is with 10,000 tons, it will be like three kilometers long. So um, how to drive the train uh, safely and how to calculate uh, the safe distance between trains is really important. And they also, that's why they choose uh, uh, like a critical position where the, the line has a big steep slope. So where train have could easily happen, like for example, the coupler is 
break is cracked or it could have some derailment if the train is not driving well. Um, so I think that's the difficult part of this one. And they are also going to introduce the automatic train driving system, ATO system for this line, because when the train, the distance between the train goes really close to each other, and then the driver, if we still use human driver, they will have a big pressure because now um, they, my colleague and I do a lot of tests on the rail line and they, we ha they have two, at least the two drivers on board and they need to do a lot. So they need to follow a lot of regulations. And if the distance between the trains is reduced further, I think uh, the interaction, I'd say the, the action time of the driver is not sufficient to guarantee the safety of the trains. So I think that's the most difficult part. Right, thanks, thanks. Great, well, thank you so much uh, for a great discussion. So I would like uh, to close uh, this part of uh, the webinar. And uh, before saying uh, goodbye, I would like to uh, take your attention uh, to the next uh, session uh, we are uh, planning. So uh, first of all, thank you, Yihui. Thank you, Professor, for uh, having a, a great uh, talk. I think uh, it was uh, really interesting to see the developments on uh, moving block systems uh, in China. And uh, we will share the video and also uh, some uh, more useful information uh, afterwards. Uh, so what we are planning for the next uh, month, so for 23rd uh, uh, of February, we will uh, have uh, Andrea Dariano uh, from uh, Roma Tre University in Italy, and he'll talk in, uh, instead more on uh, optimization problems in uh, mainly passenger railways. So we'll share the invitation, you will hear from us. And if you have any other questions or comments, uh, how we could also even further improve uh, uh, this webinar or also uh, certain topics that you would like to hear, feel free to contact us, we are uh, pretty open uh, for suggestions. So with that one, I would like to thank you all uh, for participating and uh, uh, then uh, to wish you a great evening, uh, afternoon or morning and uh, hope to see you then uh, next uh, month. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take thank care. You. Thank you. Yeah.